Welcome to DFRSoft's instructional video <clears throat> on statistical process control in uh, DFRSoft, the low-cost, high-quality engineering, reliability, statistics, and physics software tool. We just have a few slides to uh, go over, and then we'll get to the application. There are three basic types of charts, X-bar, R, and S charts in SPC. <clears throat> And there's, they're typically part, uh, those are the average range and standard deviation charts. And typically you pair uh, two of the three, um, X bar and R or X bar and S chart. Uh, so usually the X bar, in the, and in the case of DFR soft, we have both pairings. Uh, so you can look at those. Um, and let's, uh, so there's the other pairing. X bar and S chart, so we just wanted to mention that. And now let's go over to the application and actually see what we're just talking about. <clears throat> Here's the index page on DFRSoft, and uh, visit us at our website dfrsoft.com. Uh, and to look at our application, there's a 30 day free trial and all the tools that you have the reliability tools as we're scrolling down to find the quality tools. <clears throat> and uh, qual plans, reliability, growth, prediction tools, uh, like 217, and you have your engineering tools such as shock and vibration and that things. So here's our SPC control charts, and we are going to hyperlink to that. <clears throat> and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, 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 we have a data set entered. Uh, you have your pop-up helps and instructions in this video here that you can look at. And one of the nice things about this routine is you don't have the, it has five entries per lot uh, in this application. And uh, this can be expanded upon request um, <clears throat> for it to help your needs. And notice that you have a variable um, capability in your uh, lot entries. So you don't have to enter five data points per lot. You can enter four or three, for example. And the information to the right displays for each lot the uh, X bar, your S value. Let me just zoom in a little bit on that. There's the X bar, S number, and there's your range number. So those are some of the key numbers, as well as your control limits. Here's your upper control limits and your lower control limits for your X bar, R, and S charts. And now we can go down and hyperlink to the bottom or you can just scroll down to the charts themselves and here's our first pairing and below that is our second pairing so it's right there for you at your fingertips you can see X bar R or X <coughs> or the X bar with S <coughs> and <coughs> the first thing you'll notice is the on the X bar chart <coughs> there's a little blue dot here that shows you your grand average so that would be where your grand average is and uh, the data points for each lot and the upper and control limits displayed by the red line and you notice that the range varies a little bit because the data entry uh, for your range uh, for on, on your or rather your upper and lower control limits uh, varies because the lot sizes may vary um, and, and that was the case that we for this data set and it can show you through the points that are that have gone the lots that have gone over the control limit <clears throat> And here below is your R chart to pair with that. So we see like a value of 7 there uh, and a value of about uh, close to 80, 79-ish. Uh, and we can look at that point. That's the fifth point over from the bottom. So we can scroll back up and look at the fifth point. Uh, the fifth point is right around here. There it is. Uh, it has an average of 79. <clears throat> and that is your standard deviation and there is your range of 7 so roughly standard deviation of 3 so there as it's displayed on the chart in the same way uh, 79 ish for your average and 7 for your range and uh, going back down to the uh, X bar and S chart there's the standard deviation close to three and your range. Again, your grand average point uh, showing you that so you can see each point and the standard deviation for that point is pretty obvious. So it's a nice pairing. And that's pretty much all. It is not any hard tool to do. And this is on the quality page, <clears throat> which at the top has your uh, SP, uh, uh, CPK 
analysis with your yield analysis and CPK. Uh, and there's your SBC tool, another tool on the quality page that a lot of people are very interested in is the lot sampling. Uh, see our instructional video on that. And uh, recall it's a 30 day free trial for this. So uh, lot sampling is a very is a very powerful routine uh, to help you do your figure out lot sampling analysis and see the, please see the video on that as well as normality uh, analysis is also extremely um, powerful in DFR soft. So a lot of uh, uh, capability here. Uh, and this uh, concludes our instructional video. Please visit us on uh, at dfrsoft.com and give our application a th free 30-day uh, spin. Thank you very much.